With me right now is Ed Case, Congressman Ed Case, and uh, tell us about what you saw now. Obviously, in your race, uh, you uh, uh, had a you won handedly, and uh, uh, tell us what you're looking forward to and what you were seeing around this primary election. Well, I mean, first of all, I'm just really, really grateful for the results. You know, uh, for me. Um, I decided pretty early on that the way I was going to campaign for re-election was to do my job the best I possibly could and let the voters figure out whether they thought I was doing a good job or not. And so I just busted my Ocoli and did my job and, and left it to the voters. And I'm, I'm really gratified that, that um, I, I hope the result means that they think I'm doing a good job because I got a lot of work still to do up in Washington. Uh, I think for me, uh, what's really, really critical, there's a lot of important state races and county races that are still undecided and, and are getting decided. What's important for me is that the Hawaii congressional delegation be a really, really tight delegation. We are four members out of 535. And if we're not on the same page, if we're not all pulling together, then uh, Hawaii doesn't get what it deserves. But we have been on the same page. We've had a great delegation. Um, and I, I came over to Jill Takuda's uh, um, you know, campaign here to congratulate her. I think she's going to be my partner. Um, and I think she's going to be a really, really good addition to the delegation. Now, sometimes within a primary campaign, things get a little rocky. <laughs> Any anxiety when you see the party uh, going after each other in a in a in a way when it comes to you know attack ads that go negative? Well, let's face it: the attack ads were not becoming of this party. We're not becoming of the candidates. We're not becoming of of, of really democracy as we want it. So the attack ads in this cam in this campaign were disgusting. Uh, they were unacceptable. Um, and they detracted from the choices that needed to be made. But it looks to me from the results like voters sorted that all through and, and um, they, they, they you know, obviously had to deal with the attack ads, but they made decisions that were contrary to where the attack ads wanted, wanted them to go. So, you know, I think, I think a lot of voters were so fed up that they said, well, if you're going to attack somebody else, then that's the person I'm going to vote for. And I think a lot of that was going on.